Alright guys, welcome back to part 2 of my Lu Bu campaign, where it feels like everyone in ancient China is ignoring that age-old adage, do not pursue, because everyone is coming for that ass, and it's getting very spicy very early. There are so many stacks bearing down on us right now. Kong Rong is literally stationed in the eastern part of China, and he's all the way here in the west at this point, and he's coming. He actually took my trade port. And we've got more and more stacks just coming out the wazoo. Everyone hates me. I mean, it is a Lu Bu campaign. It's kind of what you sign up for, right? So there are a couple things we have figured out in the time between part one and part two. We did figure out our food shortage, which was very good. So one of the things you can do here is drop assignments. And there were a couple ways we handled it. So for one, we initiated an assignment with Zhu Rong in Anding which gave us a lot more food and a lot more food production. So we're going to synergize here with our buildings. You can see right here that the irrigated farms give us food production and income, while this one gives us additional food production on top of that and some more income from the peasantry. So those things are synergizing together. And then when you combine that, there's some real good synergy there because we get even more food from Zura. So that was a pretty important assignment that we dropped there. Lady Fang is stimulating commerce over here in Chang'an, and it's going to help out with the jade mine and all the stuff that we have in terms of our economy there. But things are still rough because our treasury is taking a bit of a hit here. This might just be a single turn thing while it's winter. I'm not sure yet. We will figure that out very soon. But even so, even with all that stuff going on in Hudong, we are actually losing Once our again, troops due to attrition. So we're going to have to break the siege which just started out, and we'll be able to crush them, I think, and hopefully that will stop the attrition. But the Black Mountain Bandits are right there as well. So it is just absolutely insane right now. We're going to have to retreat Lu Bu back to Chang'an, and I think I we might end up giving up Hadong at some point and just making sure we can build up our power base and kind of start over a bit in Chang'an, in Hanjong, and then hopefully hold on to the farmland, because I don't know if we can hold on to all this stuff. Probably the biggest, two biggest problems I've been having this campaign so far are one, the slow replenishment, which apparently is a flat rate. You can change it with ancillaries, but it is not tied to your food production that I'm aware of. I talked to Italian and a couple other guys as well. They seem to think that it's not tied to that in any way, shape, or form. So food production was not the reason my replenishment is kind of slow. But besides the slow replenishment, which you can buff up with ancillaries, other issue is movement range. The fact that it takes three turns to even get from here to across the river and over here, and then another two or three turns to even get to Chang'an is crazy. Like you saw last part, these guys move from right here to right here in a single turn. I had to force March to make it into the city. So that has also been a problem because it literally takes you like six, seven, maybe even eight turns to get from there to there. And that's just my home provinces. That's two or three commanderies. That's it. So we are going to force March Lu Bu back to Chang'an and make sure we can garrison that, get ready for the storm. Whether that, we have dealt with the Yellow Turban Rebellion here, and the tiny little stack that was there, murdered a bunch of them, and if they decide to attack again, they will die, but first things first, you need to break the siege of the Yellow Turbans. Okay. So, I think... We're gonna delegate this, because I feel like that'd be a pretty easy fight. Hopefully don't take too many casualties here. They're dead. Let feasting commence! And we took some casualties, but we're gonna get 600 income. And we're gonna get some more of that intimidation. That juicy intimidation, which we really need if we want to start paying off some factions and annexing Warhan territory. But again, I think defending all those territories will be really hard right now. We want to make sure that Chang'an is built up as much as possible. And that our food and our recruitment is in good shape before we start expanding. Because there is one thing about this game. If you expand too quickly, it punishes you pretty hard. So we're going to have to be cautious about that. Uh, let's just ransom it. Because there won't be masters. any left anyway, and we'll get some free money. All right, so we're almost out of this. The insignificant intimidation, which will be real nice, because that minus six public order is a huge issue. So is the corruption, which is probably taking some of our money. But they are going to start replenishing now, which is very good. And they'll be back up to full strength in three or so turns. And we'll see what the Black Mountain Bandits do. And Chong On, ready to receive a big old charge from all these guys. Bring we'll need to get in. out of Force March as soon as we can. But 
We'll see what the yellow turbans do in Anding. We really need these provinces now more than ever because of how much food they're making for us. But besides that, we also got Zhang Liao, who I'll probably make my faction heir at some point when I can afford to uh, make him part of the family. Take a look at our family tree. We are going to make Zhang Liao our faction heir at some point just because he's so badass. And I really want to make sure I hold on to him because he's one of the few legendary characters we have in our faction right now. He'll be really nice, but we got him, I believe, the Sword of Dong Zhou. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that the Blade of Jiang Yu is his. I don't know how where else I would have gotten it from, but it enables Scare. It gives him a huge melee base damage of, like, almost 2.3k. Yeah, the other one he was using before was 500, so I quadrupled his DPS, basically, just by equipping a weapon. And 40 charge bonus as well. So he is scary now. And he's going to be really powerful alongside Lu Bu. So we'll get into a battle with him as soon as possible. But we'll see what these AI do. And if they're going to get more aggressive on me. Or if we'll have to just push him out of our holdings here in Chang'an. See you in a bit. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Zhang Yan has moved on Hudong. And we're going to have yet another battle to fight there. Before we get to that, we do need to level up our boy Niu Fu. So let's take a look. Details, and let's take a look at his skill tree here, which we have not gone over too much so far. But they, we have a couple options here, actually. We could go up towards Fury and get some more morale and charge bonus for our own retinue. You can see right here that Instinct gives us more melee damage and better recruitment cost. Certainly not bad. Resolve. Redeployment cost and replenishment. Yes, we definitely want replenishment. So we'll go for that Don't even need to look at the other one. That is definitely the best we could go for. Okay, so 5% replenishment is not bad at all Before we do that battle though, I do want Lu Bu to get into some action here And we might what be able to catch out right Kong wrong So we're gonna push out and try to attack him get some more intimidation and get some more gold We're getting some good gold right now but that's the only thing keeping us afloat because our salaries are actually probably a bit too high. I think we have too many generals at the moment. And that is alongside the administrators that we just used to get rid of our food problem. Well, it's causing our salaries to go way up. And that means that we're losing money now. So it's either food or income. One or the other seem to be an issue every single time. So let's take out Kong Rong and see what we can do. And of course, he's going to retreat. Will he be able to get out of range? No, you won't. Okay, we're going to be able to wipe him out here. Perfect. Now, we could fight a knight. You know what? Yeah, let's fight a knight battle. We've not done that yet. I think it's one of the best things about battles in this game, just in terms of visuals. It looks gorgeous. You guys remember the Sun Family ambush. We're going to do that here, except Lu Bu and Zhang Liao are going to kill Kong Rong and the rest of his compatriots. Let's go down there. Kick some ass, shall we? Shadow Fax. He is the lord of all horses and has been my friend through many dangers. Oh wait, that's red hair. That was the gift given from Dong Zhou to Li Su to Lu Bu to betray, I think, Ding Yuan and actually bring Lu Bu over to Dong Zhou's side. So this is the prize stallion of the tyrant and now in the possession of the greatest warrior in all of China. Here in a night battle, we will see Lu Bu do battle for the first time. And he's got some pretty cool stuff. So one of the best things hey, about Mr. Lu Bu is this spell or ability right here. 2.5k splash damage. He can completely demolish a huge blob of infantry by charging into the middle of them and using that and just sunder everyone around him. So we'll try to use that hey, if we can. Warriors. And if we take a look here, you can see that we equip this sword and the heavenly sword is now his to command. And it looks amazing and it gives him well, he has the War of the Beast debuff. I think he has that anyway. But that's going to be minus 18 morale penalty. Send him in and cause some routing. Behind, we have the Heavy Geelong Cavalry. These guys are very expensive. I believe they're 5,000 to recruit and have like 300 or 400 upkeep. So crazy expensive, but very, very good. And cavalry in this game is amazing. So they're going to be super useful. And take a look at this battlefield here. Very cool one. This is kind of what I like to see out of historical games in terms of battlefields. And I'd like to see more like this in Warhammer as well. When you've got, well, I've talked about it many times before, actual geographical characteristics like rivers and farmland and not just rolling hills. It kind of makes it feel more like a real battlefield and not just like a random P 
piece of trash land that nobody would ever use. So, I like this. We're going to maybe keep our cavalry hidden on the left flank here. I don't know if I want to be slowed down by the river, though. It might be better to put them out on this side. But then the water will slow us down there. I think either way, the water will slow us down. So we're going to have Liang Jing in the center. Move up with the main force. And I guess the cavalry will stick to the trees for now. And we'll try to find an opening if we can. Maybe force them out this way a bit. If we line up here, they might expose their right flank. So we'll try that and see how it goes. Let's push in and do some slaughtering. They might just camp in their deployment. Looks like they will. But we do have the range advantage, so it won't be too much of a big issue. In the meantime, we will watch as Lu Bu and Red Hair ride to war and run into a tree. Perfect. That is a huge that is a huge tree. Look at how much faster he is than Zhang Liao. That's crazy. I mean he's very good at running into trees though. I kind of want to play, like, a third-person action game right now. Alright, that's the third tree you run into. <laughs> Dude, are you blind? He's super fast on red hair. Ready. I remember getting red hair in Dynasty Warriors. Anytime you could defeat Lu Bu, you'd get it. And you want a duel. I'm not sure I want to give that to you. I don't really want to give it to you. Actually, I'm pretty sure Zhang Liao would destroy him. But he is a champion. Yeah, with the Heavenly Sword, I'm pretty sure he'd murder him. But I'm not going to get too much into it. I think we can just slaughter the army without losing too much HP on any of our lords or heroes. Can you just stop. Dude. You would get crushed. But I don't want to, like, risk it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'd murder him too. Dude, that should not be allowed. This should not be allowed. You should not be able to spam dual invites. Like, I don't care. I just want to use them in regular combat. Go ahead. Alright, so archers are almost in range now. We are going to shoot at those archers because they are the biggest threat for us. To have you two shoot at them. Please, be quiet. There has to be a way to turn that off permanently. Okay, our cow's getting shot up. Pull you guys back. And we're gonna go around the flank right here. Sword sharpen. Sword sword. All right, here they come. So we are going to send you in there to help out against the cap. And be forgotten. Shoot them. Do not waste your breath. Nice. You All right. Need it. Let's get around the flank and Lu Bu, get in there, and we're going to immediately demolish this unit of spear guards. Large. No, my fury. Check us out. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Go for the archers now. Get out of there. We're breaking the right flank. And you guys get in there. Charge into the rear here. Actually, you know, you can get the uh, mountain, mountain militia. Kill their commander and strategist. Get the rear charge in. And this should be a mass route pretty soon. Watch Lu Bu go to work. The enemy run. The time has come. At the I ready. believe he causes fear. So you, that would explain a lot of the mass routing going on right now. Strike. And the fact that we have a way better army. Alright. Where's Kong Rong at? Did he already run? Or, oh, that's who, that's who uh, Zhang Liao killed. My god, he killed him in like two hits. Ready. See if we get a duel. Uh, okay, there it is. Automatically reject proposed rules. Do not relent. Yeah, of course you don't want to duel, dude. It won't matter. You're gonna die anyway. Fight. Let's turn off fire. Will for Do these. Attention, archers! Take heed, warriors. Prepare. Make ready. Finish him, Lubu. Enemy warriors are running. Yeah. Ah! All right, well that was pretty easy. And we didn't take too many casualties either. Just a couple hundred. Do attention. See, one thing I don't like about duels in this game, when you're not actually dueling, but just like fighting 1v1, they just the run in circles around each other. Fallen. Now they're humping. They were no match. There we go. That was sweet. I'm hearing a lot of Sha Sha chants. We got another kill here with Zhang Liao. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, he hits like a truck, dude. 
Awesome. Good work, guys. Okay, so that's Kong Rong dead. Actually dead. Maybe we won't see him back in our territory again for a while. Good night battle for us, for sure. So, after suplexing Kong Rong and dropping him on his frail little head, we can go for Ransom, see supplies, or recruit. I think we'll go for Ransom because right now the only way we're making money is through these battles. So, we need that to keep our economy going. So, I think we'll do that. One thing I've never really understood is when we get zero enemies captured, what are we ransoming? You captured troops, but who am I ransoming if I captured... Oh, I see. 147. Okay, I was just looking on the wrong side. So, yeah. We captured 147, so they'll get 140. They'll get a unit back if we ransom, I guess. But, I mean, they won't be able to do anything at this point. I have little need. And in fact, the army just died because they had no more movement points anyway. So yeah, we ransomed them and they don't get them back. So I'll take that money and and run. Okay, moving up towards menacing. That's pretty good. We've won like four or five battles in a row, and we're about to fight another. I don't know if we're gonna actually win that fight. I, I hope we do, but. In the meantime, we will retreat back to Chang'an. Should we force march? Eh. I don't think it matters. I think we will not do that. We'll just replenish for now. And then here, in Hudong, we got the Black Mountain Rebels coming at us. And Let the horse we're gonna fight it. We've taken a ton of casualties there in terms of attrition. The weird thing about it is that I think that happened in one turn. Because the Yellow Turbans lay siege when the siege was broken. It was broken, like, from the time it took them to attack to my turn. So, I don't know how I lost all these dudes in that time. It makes absolutely no sense, especially with the time scale the game's on. But, okay. I guess we're just going to fight this right now because if we wait, we'll probably... Yeah, we'll see. Look at that. Like, this guy, the cav will go down to zero, essentially, if we wait any more turns. Unleash fury! So, it says he has the balance of power... Yeah, I mean, like, dude, dude, I don't understand the siege attrition there. We're in a walled city. I get that we didn't have much resources, but we now have nine food overall. This city is running at a deficit, but I'm confused how I lost more than half my army in the span of a half a turn to attrition. That seems weird to me. But, uh, yeah, this will be a pretty hard fight. We're going to see if we can kill him. If not, we're going to get a whole bunch of money back because we'll lose a whole army and three of our generals. Would that be the worst thing at this point? I don't actually know. Maybe it wouldn't. Because I was thinking about abandoning Hudong anyway. But obviously, I don't like losing my general. So we'll try to win this one. And uh, it'll be pretty tough. Let's fight it. Yeah. Rip this army, dude. It's gone. There's no way I can win this battle. I just realized as we looked at it that it's, it's like way, way beyond the realm of reason that I can win this. I mean, look at this. This is one turn of siege. As in, like, an army attacked me, and then on my turn, I immediately attacked them, and I lost this many men in that time. That's crazy. Like, I don't know what the time frame in game that was. A month, maybe? Which I guess, yeah, you could starve to death in a month, but, like... Holy crap, dude. That's insane. My army is tiny now. Look at my, look at Guo Xi. Look at Lu Cheng. Look at Neo Fu. They're all dead, basically. Because of half a turn worth of siege and attrition. So yeah, I can't win this battle. We're going to lose all three, gen all three gens here. Rip. <laughs> Rip Runes. Campaign's hard, dude. All right, let's see what we can do. So yeah, that kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping that that would not be a thing, but it Our definitely is. We do have reinforcements coming in, which will help. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay. No, that'll that'll make it more doable. So I guess we'll retreat. I guess we'll retreat and wait for them. Where's my reinforcements coming in from? Over there? Holy crap, they're so far away. Yeah, it's back up. It's back way up. Maybe put some pressure on with the cab if we can. Okay, that makes it a bit more even. I was like, there's no way we can win. So maybe with this we can now, but like numbers wise, we're fine. The issue is that they're generals. Like Zhang Yan, like he's full he's full HP. Like he could kill a bunch of our stuff. Guo Xi is like two hits from death. I think defending this is going to be very hard. But we're going to try to get real tactical up in here and see what we can do. 
Debug cam's weird in this game. When you get real close to the ground, it slows down like crazy. Let's see if we can page that up a bit. Oh, yeah, see, I don't, I hate when cameras are like, ah, it's so jerky. Okay, so we've got Saber Cab coming in. Let's take a look at those guys. They actually look pretty cool. And you can see the city in the background, which is also dope. There's Hudong. Probably about to fall. Back up further. We maybe force them into a cab fight. Put them in a control group, and you guys get the hell over here ASAP. So those are Mountain Saber Militia. We can kill them. But then the archers would be in range. And our calf, if they take like one volley, they're dead. We're going to have to use our archers very, very well here. Our horses love blood. Okay, force them onto the open plane. And then... None of our gens can take him in a 1v1 fight. So we're going to refuse all duels, I think. And shielded infantry get up front. Keep the G a little bit further behind, I guess. Come on, guys. You're gonna have to attack me. I like these little touches. Get some yurts and some tents here. Remnants from the siege. That lasted for two turns and killed my entire army. All right, here we go. They're pushing in now. Cav ready. Get the G out there as well. Get some good shots into them. Let's kill those Mountain Saber Militia if we can. Alright, you guys get up there. Right now. And you guys push up. Get the G in there. And use the cab to maybe put some pressure on the back line. Alright, here we go. Surround them. Reinforce with this stuff. Yeah, he's probably gonna die like immediately. All right, archers, you need to get off of uh, oh, you are off it, good. I just need to commit on, dude. Why are you guys running? No, no, no. Are you guys back? All right, charge in. We're getting swarmed on the flanks. Stuff's in the middle is gonna route probably pretty quick. Nope, stop chasing that guy. Get you out of there. All right, we're getting in the back line at least. Archers, if you can kill some cav here. Yeah, yeah. Shoot them. Shoot the raider cav. Shoot the raider cav. All right, kill those archer militia. Kill the spear guard now. You are weak. Your words are oh, you better run, dude. You better run. You better run. You better run or you're a dead boy. Oh, you're not going to be able to run away, are you? The enemy unit flees. What cowards. All right, we're going to pull you guys this way. We're going to pull you guys this way. And continue putting pressure on the archers in the back. I mean, we're hurting them, but is it enough? I don't know. One thing I don't like, when you see that ability go up, it, it shows green. So I don't know if they're an enemy unit or a good unit. It's not very good design. There are some elements of the UI that are very pretty and some that are just like, they tried way too hard to be pretty and not actually functional. And then others like this where, yeah, it's like the green and red thing. It's like, okay, all factions look the exact same. I don't even know which faction I'm playing right now. Oh no, don't die to archers, Lu Chang. That'd be embarrassing. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, okay. I mean, Zhang Yan's still a huge issue. If we can kill the Black Mountain Marauders, maybe we can be alright. But there's so much infantry in the center. We need to get those Mountain Saber Militia off the map as well. Kill the Cav. Oh, uh, they're all getting run down. Amazing that you can both talk and battle. Yeah, we will not win this, but we can hurt them. Just shoot that blob. Murder that blob. We're going to bleed them, but we're going to lose the whole army, and we're going to lose all three gens as well. Unfortunate. But, like, that's not something that I knew would even be a thing. That is one thing about the Three Kingdoms campaign. 
I jumped in and I said, look, I want to be challenged. Usually I have a breeze in this stuff, but this is my first campaign playthrough ever. And there's a lot of stuff I don't know about the game right now. So I'm like, I know you can do it. go in, balls deep, see how we can do it. And if we get crushed, then we'll learn something. And I did not know that I would lose that much to attrition from a single turn of Siege Warfare. Our men flee the battlefield. Kill the Saber Militia, get in there. I mean, we ended up killing more than half of their army. But yeah, it's just not enough. Get you guys together. Finish off the rest of the archers at least. Well, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Oh, you do killing the game. Shoot those mountain saber militia. Go see. We'll get one more highlight out of you before this is all said and done, or you're gonna hit a tree like Lu Bu does. Oh, they Steal disappear. Move, move. The men have no ammunition. Draw your weapon. All right, we're playing third-person game right now. Mountain Blade, Three Kingdoms. To attention. Ooh, yeah. Did you guys see that blood pack today on CA stream? That was pretty hilarious. Take I guess uh, Wheels forgot to turn it off. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> They're still working on it. I don't think it's ready yet, but that was pretty funny. If you guys didn't see, they did a Total War stream today for Three Kingdoms and they had the blood pack active during that stream. All right. Archers routed. YOLO charge to end this game. Where are you at? Are you over here? Might as well get everyone together. And maybe try to strike the head off the snake. Oh, nope, or you can just master out. That works too. All right, well, that'll save my... That'll save my income issues. Can Lu Bu protect all of my provinces though, with one army? I don't know about that. We'll see how this goes. It hurts, it definitely hurts. All right, so they're not officially dead yet. They were treated back into the city with whatever was left of my pitiful army at this point. We bled them, but was not enough to stop their advance, and we're going to lose this city anyway. The conqueror returns. Like, we can't win it, and we're not getting a replenishment, and I don't want to lose another 800 gold or whatever, just for a city that's already a foregone conclusion. So what we're going to do is just push out and lose. Does it not let me attack? Let the horse peel with laughter. Oh my god, seriously. Ten. Can Once I disband again, them then? I feel the warmth of home. Nope. <laughs> All right. So I'm being trolled by him now. He's just, he's T-posing. He's asserting his dominance outside my city. <laughs> oh no, that's hilarious. The conqueror return. Interesting that I can't just push out. And no, I can't disband them because then if I like kick them out of my faction, then I get a bunch of other malices as well that aren't worth it. So I guess we're just gonna have to eat that gold for the turn and then he'll attack and we'll lose the city anyway. All right. Lu Bu will retreat back to Chang'an as soon as he can. And I forgot to mention this, but guess what? Ma Tang, a dude we had a trade agreement with. Actually, that's why we lost some of our gold too. Yeah, we had a trade agreement with Ma Tang. He declared war on us, so did Han Sui. So I forgot that An Ding now is also going to be under a lot of pressure from these guys and we'll probably lose that stuff too. So. I do think, actually, there's a very good chance we're going to lose this, but we're going to hit the reset button a bit here once we lose this army and just kind of, again, consolidate in Chang'an, push out from there and see what we can do. But yeah, this is looking more and more bleak as time goes on, but it's interesting. It's a good learning experience for sure. So I definitely might have breezed through the first 22 turns, yeah, 20, 22 turns a bit too fast and not established and built up my faction correctly to then hand it off to Lu Bu. Probably part of the issue there. But uh, I don't think Dong Zhou's campaign is ever going to be easy. Because again, you're, you're, you're literally at war with almost all of China, which is kind of problematic. So what we are going to work on in the reform tree actually is work towards regional levy. This plus 10 replenishment will be super good faction wide. Uh, it'll take 20 turns to get there. We may not even be alive by that point, but we're going to go for regional commissioners. And we are going to fight tooth and claw to get back into this baby, crawl back into it and see if we can win. All right, 
let's end the turn there and see what the other factions do. And I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, winter of 196, and things have stabilized a bit here, which is good. We've still got a ton of pressure on our eastern border. We're only a few turns after last you saw me. We have a Kong Rong stack ready to attack from Luoyang Trade Port. Maybe moving towards Chang'an. This looks very scary, but it's actually not. It's I refuse. technically a full stack of units, but the thing is, look at what they're bringing to the table. They have almost nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's like 20 dudes in each unit. So this will die to any garrison I have, basically. And guess what? We didn't lose Guosi Home or the, the other two generals we had in Hodong. And that's because they forced us to surrender or gave us the option to surrender rather than get wiped out. So very nice of the Black Mountain Rebels. They let us leave and that allowed me to re-recruit him in Anding and become kind of a roaming garrison for me. So we'll probably get those two generals back later once we're in a better economic position. But for now, this one group and his retinue will patrol between all these three border towns and make sure that my food production stays in the green because if we take a look it's very good right now and hopefully that will stay true for a while we are going to risk leaving Chang'an undefended because it has a nice garrison and hope they can defend against that and maybe we'll come back if we need to but for now I do want to capture Wu Du Silk Trader and put some pressure on Ma Tang now he's at war with me he might attack me anyway so being able to wipe out his army here before I get too much tough coming my way might be good. And we'll get our intimidation back up as well. So we're going to move on. We'll do Silk Trader and see if we can take it. Okay, there is an army there. A big Impossible. army there, garrisoned. To arms. Kill them all. And we're going to fight it. Okay, this is a very important one. If we do a fight night battle, minus 15 morale for the enemy. Man, that's that's a crazy debuff. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, if we can just wipe out this army here and take this, it'll put a lot of pressure on Ma Tang. Now, I'm a little bit scared of his arrow towers, but we do have four arch units, and we can use fire arrows to burn them all down, so that's probably what we'll do. And we'll try and take this thing. Lu Bu! Get into another big battle here. Let's see how it goes. Feeling like Christmas morning, man. I love the subtle glow of those torchlights and the snow at nighttime. We've got a brutal battle to fight. They've got almost 4,000 men. We've got 2,800. Can Lu Bu carry the day? First, we're going to have to deal with those arrow towers because they're going to munch us up if we're not careful. And when they get clean shots on your characters, I'm not kidding you, man. It'll take eight or nine shots before they go from full HP to dead. So... These archers have a very important job here. Go to flaming shot and burn them down, at least on this side, because they can't fire backwards. So as long as we just attack from one side, we should be good to go. And just burn them down and uh, move in slowly and carefully. Let the archers do a lot of the work here and get in there and kill some stuff, man. Should be fun. Let's do it. So we're going to move up here to the edge of the tree line. People were asking me about the performance about Three Kingdoms. I'd say that it runs worse on my system than Total War Warhammer did, but uh, better, certain, way better than like something like Attila. So uh, it's weird because one of the reviewers actually said they had a similar setup to mine, and they said that they get better frames on it than they do a Warhammer 2. I do not get that. We're at like 48 right now with uh, 4,000 troops on the field and fighting happening. But uh, as soon as those fire arrows went out, yeah, you saw the big FPS drop. So, I mean, it's definitely, for me, it does not run as well. But it is a pretty gorgeous looking game. We're going to need to toggle the fire will. All right, so that's us burning now. I think we can just back up for a second. Look at that. Like, we've already lost 15 guys on two of our archers. Ooh, did we burn? I wonder if that's because we burned the trees. Is that why they're dying? That might actually be. No, no, I think that's still mostly from the towers. But a few of those casualties, I think, might have been from the fire. So we'll be careful with that next time. <laughs> Burn some trees. Oh, we're burning the whole wall down. That's pretty nice. Are th is that dead yet? About to be. Alright, stop taking casualties, please. So the entire fort... Uh, no, see, they're right next to the fire. They're not taking any casualties. So I don't know. 
Are any of their arrow towers in range of my stuff right now? We're gonna back up and we're gonna reset. Yeah, because I think their archers are still firing at us. I just can't see them. Yeah, you're taking fire from what? Stop flashing. Archers what are you taking? Ahead. You're not taking fire. Archers. Wow, that debuff lasts for a really long time. Okay. So we're going to casually move up now and begin firing at these archers because they are the biggest threat to me for sure. Dude, I, I would go as far as to say that archers in this game are OP. That archer militia consistently get like 150 or 200 kills is pretty crazy to me. All right. So we are not going to run through the fire, because that would be bad for our health. Right, so they are going to be in range of us very soon. Alright. Let's move in. We can move the cab up as well, and see if we can maybe put some- we can maybe do some charging with them. But all the archers firing at them would probably be a bad idea, so maybe that's not worth it. All right. Shoot at the archers. Shoot at the archers. And let's get as many kills as we can. All right, here they come. They are shooting at me. I think we're gonna just get aggressive now with the infantry and push up. So I think this archer trade should go well for it. Yeah, see, there are... Dude, the, the night morale penalty is crazy good. They're all just immediately routing. But well, we're taking a lot of Attention, casualties on our own stuff. Man, that's Ready, so boat. crazy. Okay. Fire at them. Probably pull you guys back for a second. Because you're getting absolutely beat up. And you guys, get ready. Get ready. We're going to get Zhang Liao and Lu Bu into combat here. And see if we can force some stuff from them. Archers, fire at those archer militia. And we'll keep the cab back for now, because they take a beating from all those archers. And they have a nice layer of defense, too. Attend. You are pitiful. So, I'm right off the charge here. We've got I will 10 kills. For this insult. Up to 23. Holy crap. Yeah, Lu Bu's going to munch them for dinner. Okay. Prepare. Zhang Liao Run. is so much slower than these guys. Let's wait till they blob up, and then we'll drop this. Come on, get on me, get on me, get on me. Charge in, charge in. And we'll rage of Lu Bu it up. No, my fury. Here we go, do it. There we go. Didn't quite hit as well as I wanted it to, but all right, let's get into melee. How many have you killed? Not enough, I think. You're right. Oh, man, this whole side of the fort died down. Words. It's not witty. Why are you saying that? It doesn't even make sense. Alright, let's get in. Oh, Lu Bu, you might need to be a little bit careful. Already up to 132 kills. This guy's gonna carry this for me, man. What a beast. Where's Zhang Liao at? I need you up there, too. And we still gotta be careful to an extent. This is romance mode, but it's still a little bit scary to get them in there isolated like that, so keep pushing up. Support your lord. Can we not push in like that? Wow, we really can't vault that? That's crazy to me. Holy crap, that's really weird. Zhang Liao, what's your ability again? Oh yeah, morale. <laughs> we'll use that. Oh, uh, we just hit so much stuff there. 224 kills. I'm gonna get him out of that blob for now. And maybe you kill some lords here. The time has come. You have improved in my estimations. Oh, thanks, dude. Really appreciate it. It's really nice of you. The enemy warriors are running. Yeah, he's running immediately. Zhang Liao, you're a little bit too far up. Let's pull out. Go, go, go! Lu Bu still killing the game up to almost 300 kills. My God, what a manimal! Yeah, Zhang Liao did take some damage there. Lu Bu's starting to take some as well. Let's pull out. 
And you guys get around. Start pushing that way. See for yourself. At the ready. We captured that, so we're gonna send the cavalry on this side. And archers keep firing in. Make ready. Make ready. The time we can get in there as well. And we're pushing hard on the right side. Lots still left to do here. If we can actually get around behind and get to the blob, we can maybe just break it immediately. Ready to ride. Move. Do not relent. Get in there. Pop that again. Attend. Double time. I'm gonna pop that ability on his archers actually, because they're doing a lot of damage. No ammunition. Draw your weapons. Watch at the double. Do not relent. Go 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 go. All right, we're gonna pop Rage of Blue Boo as soon as he gets in the melee. Nice charge. Nice, do it. No, my this is gonna be so fury. brutal. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Here we go. Whoa, that's so good. Don't that is go so good. Busty. All right, so that should route a lot of their stuff. Cav, go charge them down. And archers, fire in. Young Liao, kill him. What's the cooldown on that? 20, 20 seconds. So we need to use that again. 451 kills. Lu Bu, the real god of war. Guan Yu, time to move over, buddy. It's a brutal fight in the center there. But we're putting a lot of pressure on the archers in the back. Hit them to run. And then we'll use this again. As soon as we can. Yeah, we'll get him out of those G infantry because he's taking some damage there. Okay, I'll come on back. And we can maybe get around here. Steal yourselves. Double time. At least fury. Get into those archers. Weapons. At the ready. Charge March in. The Pop this morale debuff one more time, and that might be enough to cause him to route. Actually, you know what? This is more important. Let's get Lubu here and use that range of Lubu attack. Break the center. Yeah, 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 yeah. That should be a mass route here. Any second now. Gong Liao back up one more time. That's a huge mass route. Get in there. Okay, Rage of Lubu time. Get right into the thick of it. Oh my god, it's gonna be so brutal. This is gonna be so brutal. Do it quickly. Oh. Oh my god, it's actually crazier than Legendary Lords. He's actually crazier than Legendary Lords in Warhammer. Oh, I'm taking so much damage on my Cav. Alright, we routed him in the center. Dude, I can't remember the last time I got 800 kills on Legendary Lord. We're not gonna chase out because those towers will actually kill Lubu in like four shots, which is really dumb. But all right, that should be a master out very soon. Into those G infantry, you kill the strategist. You make sure you continue forcing them to run from the hills. And red hair, thirst for blood. Another big win. And we'll only get 10 intimidation from it for some reason. Yet yeah, losing a minor garrison town will lose us 15. Seems balanced, boys. Yeah, we took too many losses on our Zhilong heavy cav. But besides that, it went relatively well. Or our losses. Eh, about half. Considering they outnumbered us by 1,500, it's not that bad. I probably could have played that better. But I will take it. Take heed, warriors. Yeah, if you forget about anything that has a missile block chance and they're shooting at you, you're going to lose it in seconds. Even these guys. So we're actually just going to end it here. Because I don't want to lose anything more. Good stuff. I feel like we should get intimidation if we get to kill these guys, but apparently I can't. So maybe I'll take the income. Take the income for this guy. Let them go. I'm okay they with remember him. My mercy. And we will. Maybe I should just raise it to the ground. 
I'll occupy it. And we'll see how far we can push in. This shows much potential. Yes, it does. You're so right. You're so right, Lubu. Okay. With that fallen now, Jin Chang, Wu Du, the large town is close by, and then Han Sui is a stone's throw away as well. We are all the way in the northwest portion of the map. It does not get more northerly than this. Besides these four or five settlements. So once we kill those, uh well. I think this might be our breadbasket, right? Like, this is going to be pretty much where we focus on now. I've kind of given up on moving towards central China because I think that'll make things even harder because it'll open up a lot more avenues for my opponents to attack me because I'm at war with, like, everyone here. So we can kind of use the choke point at Chang'an to just hold it down for a while and then maybe finish off Ma Tang and Han Sui. But that was a big win for us, for sure. Attention. Getting some money from it, too. And we leveled up as well. Did we level up on Lu Bu? Not yet. He's at level 7 right now. I mean, God, dude, 850 kills. Just a casual 850. It wasn't even hard for him either. Zhang Liao also leveled up. So what can we get for him? Enables immune to fear and terror? Or... Hmm... I think we will go for the bonus experience, because that seems pretty good. But only if he's your heir, prime minister, or faction leader. Okay, so we'll need to make him our heir as soon as we can afford it. I think we can technically afford it right now, but we've got better things to do with our money. So maybe we won't do that yet. We'll do this. So we'll go for an apply there. And who else leveled up? I don't know. Liang Jing. All right, so our third general. He got some income and character experience. And that should round it out. Okay. So, we have stabilized a bit. We have some money now, which is good. We do have three armies bearing down on us, but two of them are a joke. And very soon, we're going to build up our second army again. And try to hang out and make sure that our food production stays in a good spot. Back quickly. And the Silk Trader... We could level that up and get some nice money and income, some prestige as well. But I think the war with Ma Tang and Han Sui is going to be the next stage of this campaign. So, hope you guys enjoyed this part. And hopefully we can keep it going. Keep the momentum here that we built up in part two. It was looking pretty bleak, pretty dire, and it might still be. But at the moment, we've got a good Thank army. Lu Bu is an absolute manimal. And in four or five turns, we will be replenished and ready to fight again. So I will join you next time. Hope you can join me for part three. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out. A-Town. Usher. Do-do-do-do.